Okay, I am in Huntsville, Utah, and I'm gonna take you on an awesome little tour. This is gonna be a short tour, but uh, I've got a pretty awesome tour here. And uh, right now I'm at this building called the Huntsville Mercantile. And um, big old building, and it's, uh, The, the owner uh, seemed to think it was like 150 years old. So, you know, is it possible that this was built in the 1870s? I'll do some checking on that. But it's a really thick building. I thought it was really interesting that it's got um, four levels of brick in it. And uh, the owners are restoring it and doing a great job and uh, just really great people. And, uh, but yeah, it's got a brick outer and it's got these huge arches all over it. <laughs> and, um, got a little ramp coming up to this door here. And they got a little shack on the back here but there is no stairs in this part of the building here. Um, they did uh, let me into it, so I'll show you some footage on the inside, but they did get a little worried because some of the people in the town have been giving them hell for uh, restoring it. And I think they're doing a great job, but look at this right here. <laughs> so this is, uh, Looks like an old, big, 10-foot door right here. And you can see that there's a vent in it right there. Very interesting. Got a couple AC units here. The interesting thing is, is that um, in the basement, I saw three windows along the bottoms. And here's another 10-foot door here. Very interesting. So I saw three, and look at this. Here's an arch. For one of those windows right there do you see that and uh, maybe we can see some of the rest of the arch but there is an arch that's been blocked in right there do you see that so very interesting and uh here's another arch sticking out of the ground right here see that and that's been uh, looks like a piece of metal put over it and uh so yeah, kind of has some of those signs that we would think. The ceilings in it are around 13 feet and uh, they're trying to make it look more like the original. They just installed these windows yesterday, but you can see that that does look a lot more like the original structure there. And uh, these are just a couple pictures back in the past. All right, I'm in Huntsville at the Hunts mercantile uh, it's a one of the oldest buildings in town it's a huge um, store and um, just beautiful this is the front area here this is Main Street out here and th there used to be a set of stairs right here you can see that line right there the stairs used to go down right here and the, the owner of this building is re uh, not renovating it she's restoring it she's doing a great job and uh, just beautiful. I would say the ceilings in this room are, um, let's see here. This is eight feet right there. So I'm saying probably somewhere around 13 feet in here. Just amazing. And you can see that there looks like there's kind of a little of an apartment maybe on the back here. And, um, but uh, what I'm excited about is showing you the basement. Okay, so found the basement. So there are lights down here, which is awesome. And this uh, basement goes down quite deep. Um, but right off the bat, right here on the stairs, you can see an old window right, right by the stairs. And uh, can you see this window at all or any patch on it from the outside? Uh -uh. Not at all? Okay, so I'm in the basement of the Huntsville Mercantile. The owner of the building was just so kind to uh, let me come down here at my own risk. <laughs> and
And uh, so this building, um, well, I'll tell you a, a little bit about it, but I thought I would uh, get videoing down here. So the stairs are way over here, but this has got, right now it's got a dirt floor, as you can see throughout the whole bottom. It's got this beautiful straight stone foundation and it's got about nine feet ceilings down here right now and you can see um but i just wanted to just see this foundation and uh see um what we see here so just amazing beautiful work it's a has it always been a dirt floor completely? Always. always was a dirt floor. And uh, you can see it looks like there might have been a, was there a window here at one time down in here? A coal chute. A coal chute. So this was a coal chute down into here. And I guess there was probably a boiler or something down here at one point. Whether, whether that, that thing right there had to do something with the boiler. Right in this area? No, well, that, that right there. Oh, this thing right here was part. No, that was the generator. Oh. Oh, but this little area right here, maybe right where it came down? Um, over here in the corner. Okay. You can see there's the old um, clinkers, the old clinkers that were used to clean the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see it right there, huh? You can see that. Wow. So you don't work for somebody. No, 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 trust me, I'm not going to give you any problems with the I'm government. Not, I'm thinking you're, you seem like you're working for somebody no. to like come down here and tell on us or something. No, I no. Love. I, I, I promise I'm not. That is not. You, you, okay. You're never going to hear from me or anybody that seems, again. Yeah, it just seems I'm starting to think. No, I understand where you're coming from. I'm a business owner, and like I'm very weary. I'm, I'm about freedom, just so you know. Like, I'm okay. about. I'm a, I'm a patriot. I'm about freedom. So we've had a lot and, of people give us shit as our um, re remodeling. Like oh no! Remodeling. Trust me. Like you know what? Like I hope that you keep it as intact as possible. That's what you we're know. To do. We're and I can see that you're sure. doing that. I'm not here to judge you in any way. You okay. know. I'm just here to just like here's the thing. A lot of these buildings get torn down and everything's gone. And I'm not saying this is going to get torn down, but after you die, oh, you're not in control of that personally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mine, and it would have been torn down. My, bro yeah. my husband had to buy it off of his brother and his brother was paranoid. Yeah, it makes me sick to see, you know, because it's like we lose our history and we lose our connection with the people who built yeah. these buildings. You know what I mean? And it's just, so I just wish that somebody did this in the 1800s. You know, yeah, well, I wish my fa my father in law was trying to be. Um, he wanted it to be like a Costco nowadays. So when he, um, if you look at the picture on the front of the building, he tried to make it into a box store. So he was before his time. Oh wow! And that, like a club he, uh, of a sort. Yeah. So yeah. he wanted it to not be old, and now he's yeah. trying to. My dream was to tear the to take the paint off. The fact uh -huh. that we have all the supplies to take uh -huh. the paint off the outside. But we just got to the point where we couldn't get the paint off anymore, so uh, we painted it. But and this looks like there's another window back here at one time. Is that um, right? I, or another? I, it's I, similar to the coal chute. Uh, it looks a lot like it, like yeah, it like a half little window right there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, no, I have no idea. All right, I'm gonna take you uh, down Main Street, and uh, I'll be right back. And. Uh, so here's a gorgeous building, and I just talked to uh, the person who runs the gallery, owns the gallery, and the artist. Great guy. Um, he says that the top of this is all been, um, that that's new, and that was ordered out of state and shipped in three pieces and put on top of here, but the front of the building, the brickwork is original, and the rest of it's been replaced. So, very interesting. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey, you too. So then, right next to it, you got this old Shooting Star Saloon, which is uh, believed to be the oldest um, bar in the state. And so, uh, it's got arch windows. Hi. And so, uh, just really interesting. You see down this side there. Not really sure if there's anything in there. <laughs> it's got an arch window up there as well. It's really pretty in it. And then they put a porch out on the front of it with some logs. Hey, how's it going? 
Good, this is like the oldest bar in Utah, right? Oh, yeah. You don't mind if I video around it, do you? Is this no. yours? No. Or do, you, do you work here? She does, I know that. She does, she does mine, or? Uh, she works here, but oh, I don't know. Oh, it'd be fine if I video around it, right? Yeah. All right, awesome. So, uh, what's in the basement? Uh, just a cooler. Oh, just a cooler, huh? Awesome. So, yeah, so you can see these ground level uh, went window right there blocked in, and it's just like a full storage. Let's see what else we got here. So this looks like it's a new part maybe come out from the building right here. And you have, but I saw something here. Yeah, I did. So you have another blocked in window right here. And it's that red brick. You have a arch above this window here. And look what they've done here. They've really reinforced this foundation with some concrete down there. Just awesome. And uh, so let's just go down here real quick and see what it looks like. And there's the basement right there. And it is a full size basement. That's quite amazing, isn't it? Wow. And uh, it looks like they covered right over the bricks with this. And did they go deeper? Possibly. Oh my gosh, look at that. Sure enough, they sure did go deeper. That is very interesting in my book. Yeah, really cool. Let's, uh... Cool. Looks like the brick on this building is original too. Let's see if we see anything here. That right there. Really cool. Wonder if there's anything below here because look at the way that that cuts in. And we know that the front of this building is kind of original. But look at that right there. That's very interesting. Like there used to maybe be a door right there. Something. Yeah, really interesting. All right, let's keep going. Be right back. All right, so we're coming up on this. A couple more buildings here. Got an old, what looks like could have been a different style home that's been turned into a bungalow or something like that. And I noticed they have a, uh, a window down here that uh, they've tied some stuff into. And it looks like a new brick facade around a pre-existing building because you can see how far those windows go in and they go in. Uh, Definitely a couple more layers of bricks. It looks like maybe they put one layer of brick around this old building. And here's a brick facade here as well. And it looks like they've stuck it over this facade. And they've used some cinder block here. Looks like it's like a snow shack now. Really interesting.